Always be careful when working with bramble, guys. Get them stuck in your finger. They make you bleed. Hello everyone and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now, I have been asked time and time again lately to do a stick insect update video. I'm sorry it's taken so long. I actually have a few in the works for you guys within the next month or two, but today we're going to be looking back in our Eurocamp for Calcarata tank. So in my last video, all the adults had sadly passed away from old age. We had loads and loads of nymphs hatching. We had some sort of like medium size. Well now, now we've got some sub-adults, possibly some adults. We've got small nymphs, medium nymphs, and I have no idea how many we've got in the tank. Now, with Eurocanthus calcarata, unlike many other phasmid species, these guys, you don't really see them lurking around the plants apart from late at night. So most of these guys are gonna actually be hidden within their hides at the back, cork bark piece down here, and within all these branches. Now these branches over here were the leftover bramble, and I've been stacking them for about three or four weeks now, dead branches for them to have more hiding spaces. So we're gonna have a complete clear out on here. I will time lapse the whole thing and we will have a look and see how many Eurocanthor calcarata we've got, what sizes we've got, so on and so now forth. Before we continue, I just wanna show you an old skin, a molt. So where you would have tarantula molts, you can also get stick insect ones, although most of the time they eat it. This is a male, you can tell by the end of the abdomen there. And you get these little string bits out here and these are what actually go into its hook lungs. So it's an almost intact molt. And you can keep these if you like. Some of them come out really, really good. This is kind of half destroyed. Anyway, let's crack on with this and see how many we've got lurking about. Just to stop that there, the easiest way I find to find these is to chop branches off bit by bit and sometimes hiding in the leaves, you can find them. So here is a young nymph of a Eurocanthor calcarata. Let's see how many more we can find. Now I'll stop the video here for a moment because you can see this one's still got the ova attached to it. So this is a freshly hatched nymph that's got the ova stuck to its foot. Now this should fall off in time, however you can aid them by heightening the humidity levels. Now, annoyingly, I actually got rid of my Indians um, just because I wanted to make room for some other stick insects. Now this is an Indian stick insect. Now obviously there was an egg still left in the enclosure from a long time ago. I haven't kept these for a while and it's grown up all like this without me even noticing inside the Eurocanthor tank. Now check this out guys, Eurocanthus love to huddle. Now can you spot them? That's right, right there look. I don't even know how many are in here. Oh, one's dropped on the floor. Oh yeah, so you can see some of them have the kind of greenish effect and then we have the brownish effect ones here. And then we've got lots of little nymphs all within these crevices here. This is why they are so hard to see guys. They just love huddling together in small little areas like that. Okay, so, so far I've cleared out, let me zoom out a bit, I've cleared out a lot of this enclosure and we found maybe 15, 20 Eurocanthus. Now, I know for a fact there are at least triple that amount in this enclosure. This is how hard they can be to find. Um, I also have not come across any adults or sub-adults and I know there is a, at least 10 rummaging in here somewhere so 
now we're going to look under these sticks and try and find some. I've got to be careful now, so be careful when you do this if you have any mature males because they do get defensive, they do kick and it, it does hurt a little. Um, so just bear that in mind if you go rummaging in your acanthus enclosures. They will also sometimes kind of hide under rocks and bits like that if they are able. So let's just pull this apart. Sorry, really didn't want to have to do this. But I want to find the big guns. So here we have a female right here. Now she is either a small adult or she has one molt left till adulthood. Now it's weird thinking something of this size has been lurking in the back of this vivarium. She's not very happy about being disturbed at all. I can feel her spines actually prodding into my skin and she's rearing a bit. See that? See how she's raising her hind leg? Oh, it's, it's the one opposite end of the camera, sorry. She rears that because she's got tiny little thorns on her back legs and she will kick with those, smaller than the males, but it still hurts. Oh, she's on the floor. So here she is, excuse the wire. I've actually got the camera plugged in right now. Look at her go, look, compared to the size of my feet there, look. She's a big old girl. Like I said, possibly one moat away or a small adult, but still big. No matter, she's gonna try and get up under my jeans. I really don't want that. But you see how she's curled there. She is in defense mode. She is not happy whatsoever. And who thought a stick insect could be scary in any shape or form or defensive look, look at, at this it. defense mode right here tail curled up raised in the air trying to look big trying to look mean and what she'll do is she'll raise these hind legs she's not going to do it for us right now but look at that they've got some serious power in these legs and she'll curl them back scissor kick you if you frustrate her too much look at that girl Just want to show you this here so this is where i've been putting some of them you can see where i've put in the old water dish this one is not dead this is another form of defense especially when they're younger before they have their spines they will play dead just like that stiff as a board but if i went to pick it up like this which is not the correct way of handling phasmids by the way but i know what i'm doing here and i held her in a fashion that wouldn't cause any harm but there see she's perfectly alive and well the only thing is, where are the males? Because they're the ones that actually frighten me. Where are the males? Excuse me, madam. In fact, let's not talk to you. Let's, let's talk back to you. She's still on the floor. She's still in defense mode. She's not happy. Where is your husband to be? Because that's what people want to see. They want to see the scary male. You know what, guys? I'm going to shut this camera off and I'm going to see if I can find one. Found another female lurking about here loads of little nymphs as well where are you there you are i've seen a fair few that size wandering around still no sign of the male now i know i had one molt out to what i think was adulthood there's got to be more where are you another female now, if you don't remember, guys, you can tell because it's got an op ovipositor at the end of the abdomen there, the pointy one. The male will not have that. I'm going to keep on searching and get back to you. Found a male. Sub-adult, not yet adult, so I can't show off the true power they have. But if we look around here, no ovipositor there. Oh, it's not going to focus well. Let me move this down here. No ovipositor at the end of the abdomen. Now we wanna try and get a look at these legs. You see that spine there? That'll like double in size, that especially big one on the hind legs. Now they'll have one on each hind leg, you can see the other one there. And these are what they will scissor kick you with when they are angry. So let me give you a hand comparison. 
So he's still pretty hefty. He won't be as big as the adult females, but he won't be far off. See if we can get into manoeuvre there. Still very jittery at this sort of age, even though he's sub-adult. He may well just jump down. Look at that cow in the tail there. He's not happy, but he hasn't lifted his hind legs. He will lift those up if he's really angry. But the power in those legs is phenomenal. You see how when he walks then, suddenly he was slightly raising one a little bit? I'm sorry about the focus today, guys. So perhaps the molt may have been from this male. Maybe it was a sub-adult molt that I saw. Let's have another look at that spine. Just like a thorn of the bit of bramble, but being kicked at you intensely. These guys, and the camouflage as well, look at that. These guys truly, truly amaze me. So I found one more male of the same sort of size. I'm going to see if he can... No, he's in a run mode, not defend mode. Sorry, dude, I'm trying to do this one-handed. No. Nah. So what we'll do, we'll wait until these guys get a bit bigger and then I can really show you the defense because once they're fully adult and they've got them full size spines on their hind legs, they have no fear of raising them up, ready to attack. <laughs> so I'll put them back in. This dude is still angry. This is the first one I took out. Dude. <laughs> You've been in there for like 10 minutes now, completely away from me. Like, why are you so mad? <laughs> oh dear. So here's our very angry female. I actually had to cup her because she was just not allowing me to grab her whatsoever. So, back in you go, love. Let go, please. Let go, please. Jesus. Let go, please. And can you? So that's gonna be it from me today. I hope you enjoyed our year account for update. I had a well good time filming this, just messing around being me. So I don't actually know how this footage is gonna turn out after the editing process. I was just having a whale of a time messing around in there. And I didn't get spiked by any year account for males. And it seems that we only have sub adults at the moment. But I will do an update when they're fully grown and they can also fight for dominance within an enclosure as well. So if I can capture footage of that for you, I will do my best to do so. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Bye-bye.